Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm here again with Liza. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, <laughs> you can see her a little bit. Well, I'm planning on doing a quick little get ready with me. I am going to go over to Jesse's, which that is my boyfriend, and visit with him and his daughter today. And I'm also gonna take Liza with us because his daughter absolutely loves to see her and play with her and everything. So she'll be coming along for the ride and she's just like right here outside the camera frame. I don't think y'all can probably see her, but I'm just gonna do a quick get ready with me. And if y'all are interested in seeing that, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, if you ask me why I'm getting this done up to go over to their house, the answer would be, I don't know. I have started a new filming schedule where I film on Saturdays and today just happened to be a Saturday. I just figured I was going to film a video anyway, so I am not doing super glam. I'm just doing like, <laughs> I guess you could say medium glam because I am going to do lashes because I tried out this new one. So I realized in my last video, I completely cut out the part where I was talking about which lashes I was going to use. So I am going to be wearing them today and they are by the brand, I think it's Poppy and Lily. No, it's Poppy and Ivy and they're in the style Camilla. Um, they're super gorgeous. I will show y'all like whenever I put them on and obviously y'all saw them in the last video, but I will show y'all again. So for foundation, I'm just going to be using a little bit of the L'Oreal True Match. I just have that on the back of my hand because unfortunately their bottles for some reason is like they're like the same type of bottles as you know how whenever you get a salad dressing and sometimes they have like the super huge open spouts. That's literally how this bottle is for the foundation. And me and my sisters, we always call it unkid friendly because you know, you're just like going to try to pour a little bit out and then you pretty much dump the whole entire thing on either your salad or you dump the whole entire foundation thing out. Oh, but I forgot to update you guys. So I have started a new clinic site. I am in the school systems. I have never really done anything inside the school system other than hearing screenings. That's about the most I've ever done. And honestly, that's about the most I've ever been in a school. I was homeschool all the way K through 12. So we're all four of my sisters. And then we all four have also gone to or going to the school that is in my town. My dad works there. It's like a four year university. So it's like a real, it's a real school. So my sister majored in business and then now she actually works in I think it's the administrate like the business administrative office at the school and then i obviously went there and majored in speech pathology and audiology and then my second to youngest sister is there currently and she is majoring in nursing and then i think she's wanting to do possibly a master's in either social work I think it's a master's in social work she's wanting to do. I always mix it up if she's wanting to do a master's in social work or a master's in psychology, but I'm pretty sure it's social work. And then my youngest sister is actually trying to decide where she's wanting to go to college. She's considering between that school and then a few other in the state. And she's wanting to go for engineering. I can't remember which type of engineering. I know it's the same type that my dad did. But I can't remember what type he did either. And then my dad, and he actually teaches within the business department as well. He teaches in the supply chain. He works in the <laughs> he works in the supply chain department. Yeah, so that's kind of what my family does. My mom was the one to homeschool us, and my dad totally helped out as well, especially when we got older, because that was kind of like where the subjects heated was like the math and the sciences. And then now, as you can see, I've used the Fenty bronzers for the contour sticks, her match sticks. I was actually talking to my little sister the other day and she was saying she didn't think they sold those anymore, which I was so sad about. So I need to like get online and check because if they don't, I'm literally gonna be so sad because I love them. So if any of y'all know a good dupe for them, please let me know. And then I'm gonna use the Fenty uh, 
highlighter in this shade Starstruck. Just on the high points of my cheeks. It's kind of like a pinky highlighter, which I feel like will really complement with the other highlighter I will be using. Um, but yeah, like I said, my mom did all of the homeschooling for us and she did an absolutely fabulous job. I mean, obviously she got, she got four kids into college and being fairly successful, I would say. So shout out to my mom. If you are watching this, thank you for all you did and I absolutely love you. Okay, moving on to you setting. I have not been setting my face a whole lot just because of how dry I am. I'm sure y'all can't tell from over there, but my face has been super, super dry. So I really just powder down like the middle of my face because that's where I have the most creasing, like on the sides of my nose, under my eyes, and then like on my chin. Oh shoot, I was going to use a cream blush, but I completely forgot. So I guess we will not be doing that part today. But I'm gonna go over my contour with the Too Faced Bronzer. I always use this. This is literally my absolute favorite bronzer in the whole entire world. A super similar one is Physicians Formula if you are looking for a good dupe. Um, Liba literally throws these fits. She was just doing it a second ago where she will like scrape her hands on the floor because she can't get to one of her toys and it's literally just like a few inches like I kid you not inches away from her and she just wants me to come grab it for her so usually I end up grabbing it for her she's always so curious I don't see if, know if you can see her walking around she gets so curious whenever I film my YouTube videos um she is doing a lot better because she used to like scream whenever I do them like I don't know if she was like freaked out because she couldn't see who I was talking to but she never did that with like whenever I would FaceTime so I don't exactly know what it was but she really did not like it but now she does a lot better and doesn't get quite as freaked out <laughs> but now she just wants to see what all the products are and try to taste them so I'm going to be using a NARS blush I recently got this one I just used it for the first time the other day and really liked it it's very it's like a pinky color but it does not have really any shimmer to it which I do miss the shimmer whenever I looked on the photo I thought it was going to have more shimmer but that's okay I really like it still it's a very nice kind of like a matte-ish blush and then now I'm using one of my tried and trues, not as much of my favorite as my Tarte one, but definitely my second favorite. It's the Amrezy Highlighter by Anastasia. Sadly, they do not sell this anymore and it literally like breaks my heart. I wish you would come out with this again. So Anastasia, if there's any way you happen to be watching my video right now, please, please, please come back <laughs> out with this, which I highly doubt it, but hey, who knows? And then maybe you could hook my little sister up with Sebastian Stan. Or me. Or me. I would definitely date Sebastian Stan. He is so cute. Especially, I don't know if y'all saw him. Like, in... He was in Gossip Girl, but also in the Once Upon a Time series. I thought he was so cute in both of those that was like honestly in gossip girl was like where i fell in love with him all right now i'm gonna go off camera and i'm gonna do my liner mascara and lashes and i will be back to y'all in just a moment all right you guys and i am back i have put on my lashes as i'm sure you can tell and i did a little bit of eyeliner it's definitely more than i was wanting i had planned on doing like a tiny baby wing but then one got messed up and of course, you know how it goes. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was my dog. That was not a motorcycle. That was not a diesel truck. No, it was my little 35-pound dog. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, so I'm sure y'all know how it goes that it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So this is the final look. I'm trying to think. I just did a little bit of lip liner. I used NYX Nude Truffle, but I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for videos every Saturday at 4 p.m. 
and I hope you all have a happy and safe weekend and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. for me, not you. You don't need any makeup, you're beautiful.